time related word problems today we will learn how to solve time related word problems hey good day our vehicle is ready to go come let's distribute mangoes to our relatives grandpa how long will it take hmm nearly 3 hours it's 10 now so can you tell me at what time shall we return On adding three to ten gives thirteen. Grandpa, at thirteen o'clock. No good day. After twelve, again one, two, three begins. Take a look at the clock carefully. Moving three hours after ten means eleven and twelve and one. Yes. Three hours after ten means one o'clock of the afternoon. Got it now? Yes, Grandpa. We get one again after twelve o'clock. Grandpa, how much time will each house take? Nearly ten minutes. Hmm. And we have to go to ten houses. So, Grandpa, ten houses will take ten ten minutes. Each so ten multiply by ten, it will take hundred minutes. And do you know how many hours are there in hundred minutes? No, Grandpa. Well, let me tell you. One hour has sixty minutes. So if we subtract sixty from hundred minutes, we will be left with forty minutes. We can also say. it like this if we add 60 and 40 minutes together we will get 100 minutes so now good day you must have known very well that 100 minute means 1 hour and 40 minutes besides this driving from one house to another will also take time how much time will it take grandpa all the houses are very close good day if we were not carrying boxes with us We would have easily covered the distance by foot. It will hardly take fifty minutes. Means nearly one hour, Grandpa. You tell me if there are sixty minutes in an hour, then fifty minutes is how much more or less than it? Fifty minutes is less than sixty minutes. On subtracting fifty from sixty, we'll get ten. So it is. 10 minutes less than 60 grandpa very good okay now a difficult question can you add 50 minutes to the previous 1 hour 40 minutes mm, how can i add this grandpa let me show you if we have to add 50 minutes to 1 hour 40 minutes then look units of 40 and 50 are both in minutes So we can add both of them together. So fifty plus forty is ninety minutes, Grandpa. Correct. But is ninety minutes greater than sixty minutes? Yes. So how many hours is this? On subtracting sixty from ninety minutes, we'll get thirty. So one hour thirty minutes, right, Grandpa? Very good. Now add this one hour thirty minutes to previous one hour. So now we get two hours thirty minutes. Isn't it nice, Goody? We came back home soon. Yes, Grandpa. It's only twelve twenty now. And when did we leave? It turned out to be ten thirty. So tell me. How long did it take us? How will we do this, Grandpa? Let me show you. We have to subtract ten thirty from twelve twenty. The easiest way to do this is by increasing one hour from ten thirty. First, tell me, if we have to add one hour to ten thirty, how much will we get? Eleven thirty. And if we add one more hour to this, twelve thirty. But we were back only at twelve twenty. Yes, Grandpa. So, twelve twenty from twelve thirty. Less than ten minutes. 
Very good. So, how much time did it take? Ten minutes less than two hours means one hour fifty minutes. Very good. So, what did we learn today? Similar units of time, hours and minutes can be added or subtracted. One hour means sixty minutes. And when number of minutes is more than sixty. Convert it to hours. Thank you.